what's going on? Joe Coffey here at the PV booth with Tim. Tim, how you doing? Doing great. You're going to show us the new JSX. Yes, yeah, this is the new JSX 50, the new product in the line of JSX products. Of course, we have the JSX 100 watt head, the 212 combo, and the mini colossal. This is the JSX 50 that we did in collaboration with Joe Satriani. And uh, we built this amp with Joe. We actually went out to visit him in a studio, and we sat and we built it right there for Joe. Tell me about that process. I mean, so you take a proto, right? And uh, he plays and tweaks and tells you what to change? Right. Well, actually, we started, it was a sit down and talk and listen session. He brought in a bunch of his favorite amps, and we played them. And it was he told us what he liked and disliked about them. And we narrowed it down to one. He said, this is my favorite, if it could only have this. That's what the JSX50 is. It's a two-channel amplifier, and even though it looks like a standard JSX, other than the name and how it looks, it shares no tonal similarities at all to the rest of the JSX product family. We got a two-channel amplifier. We got a crunch channel here with an attack control, which is a unique six-position selector that attenuates bass frequencies at the input stage of the amplifier for the crunch channel. So as you turn your gain back on your crunch channel, if you want to go for that in-between half clean, half dirty sound, instead of your bass frequencies rolling off, you can click them back in at six different frequencies. And you got treble, middle, bass, and a volume for the crunch channel. You also have a gain boost, which boosts the amount of distortion you get on the channel, but you still have the same tonal spectrum and quality of tone. The clean channel is voiced to work with Joe's pedal rig that he's going to use with the new band. On this channel, we got a pre-gain, a treble, middle, bass, and a volume. It's aggressive for a clean channel, and you can get a mild overdrive, but it's very in-your-face and crunchy. The thing Joe wanted about this amp that he kept saying was, I don't necessarily need gain, but I need aggression. That was the word we kept coming back to. So it's a very upfront, kind of more of a classic rock and roll in-your-face kind of sound, real punchy. And we got a special master section here with two master volume controls. What goes on here, this is actually in the power amp section of the amplifier, and you're switching between two different volume levels, and it's a foot switchable function as well as front panel. You can have a lead and a rhythm sound at the same tone, and it's functional on either channel of the amplifier. So even though you have two main channels, with that switching there and the boost here, you almost have five different tones at your feet at any one time. So lay out the foot switch for me. The foot switch, what that will do, it'll be a channel switching between clean and crunch, boost for the crunch channel, master volume switching, and then an extra foot switch to switch the effects loop in and out on the back. Let's talk about the back. There's also a DL, right? Yep. The back of the amp we have, this is a familiar feature from the JSX family, a serial effects loop that has a send level and a return level. Here's your foot switch jack cabinet impedance selector, speaker outputs, a line out that you can run out to a slave. Then you have over here the MSDI, Microphone Simulated Direct Interface. On the other JSX products, this was built into the cabinet for the amplifier. Here we opted to put it in the head so a user can have that function regardless of what cabinet he's using. It's a little, and we have bias test points on the back of the amp as well. The amp is also equipped with 6550 output tubes, which is a departure from the standard JSX. I know this is very, very new. Uh, what about a timeline as far as production when people can go buy this? Probably looking about third quarter of the year, you'll start seeing them hit stores. Cool. Hey, something else I wanted you to take us through, uh, the custom shop amps. We did some videos with you guys in Meridian, Mississippi. Got a look at how that was shaping up. I understand there's a new look. Yep, there's a new look, and uh, we renamed a few per Hartley's request, and we can take it and give you a little tour of that. Let's check it out. All right, so now we're checking out the new line of uh, PV Custom Amps. Go to PremierGuitar.com, use the search feature under the video tab if you want to see the video of us checking these things out as they were being developed. But they have some new names, some new looks. Tim, tell me about this one, the Sensation 20. Sensation 20 was in the prototyping stages, was formerly known as the 2084. It's a 20 watt amplifier with two EL84s in the output section. This one here that we're looking at now is in the 212 combo format with reverb and effects loop options and two tone custom Tolex job and a solid mahogany front and an oil finish. When you uh, flipped the switch on that a while ago, that verb tank just clicking on sounded like butter, man. Oh, it yeah, it's a big, big three spring reverb tank. Long tank, sounds great. People are loving it. Sure. 
right. we got it. It comes in the 112 format and a head format is over here as well. Let's take, take a look at that. A lot of uh, custom Tolek options with this uh, series. Yep, there's several different custom colors of Tolek options, and it's uh, we're kind of leaving that up to the user. What do they want to buy? It'll be in the catalog. You choose what color you want, and if you don't see it there, you can ask for a quote, and we'll do it for you. This particular head is a non-reverb head, but it's the same amp that we looked at in the 212, just a non-reverb single-channel amplifier with a new custom shop 212 extension cabinet in matching red Tolex. Very cool. All right, over here, I recognize the face of this, but this is now the, the Studio Special. Yep, this amp was formerly the 1.5U7. Now it's the Studio Special 1.5. It's the 1.5 watt amplifier with the 12 AU7. It's an output tube running in a push-pull configuration. You know, for your studio friendly, home friendly, crank it up and rock. That's what it's all about. Cool. I see a two-channel job over here. Yep. This amp was formerly known as the 50L6D two-channel amp with cascading gain structure, has a clean channel that everybody's familiar with with volume, treble, middle, bass controls, and a bright switch. Then when you go to the lead channel, you're adding two extra stages for your gain. It's capable of really thick, really smooth gain. It comes in a head format, 112 combo as you see here, or 212, and reverb is also an upgrade you can get. And speaker choices are an upgrade you can get on any of the amps. Tell us what you want, and we'll quote it for you. They're built to order. It's not something that we have on a shelf. They're all made to order hand-wired for the individual. All right, so let's look at the head version of this. That's pretty sweet, man. Yeah, that's a piece of flame maple on there. We stained it to match the wine Taurus Tolex on there. It's a two-tone cabinet. Uh, gray Taurus on the top, wine Taurus on the bottom on a matching wine Taurus 412 cabinet. All right, so Tim, if people want to create their own PV custom amp with a lot of these options you're talking about, what's the process? What's the drill? Right now, you go to your PV dealer and talk to them. They can set you up with ordering one of these, and we'll also have an online order form where you can order it direct from PV, starting and told in about three months. All the options, color options, speaker upgrades, cabinets, all the stuff will be available on there. Very cool. So PV.com is the place to go, right? PV.com. Thanks a lot, Tim. Sure appreciate it. Thank you very much. I'm Joe Coffey. You're watching PremierGuitar.com.